being eaten we is like fun. We like eating things. We like being eaten. Yeah. We like, yeah, exactly. We like eating and being eaten. Well, this the well, sharp okay. stone. <laughs> the sharp if, stones are yeah, uh, mm, uh, mm -hmm. hard as rock because they are rock. Can we take one? Okay, I'm gonna say this area is a bit of a uh uh oh i see it's it's a bit cryptic but it's not it's nowhere near as cryptic as some other things have been in this game so first off uh let's look at the memorial uh look at memorial We're probably gonna die, but... and then get at it <laughs> Yes. So, remember that when we first got here, he demanded our name. Yeah, so we're going to say the names of somebody on the memorial. There are countless names carved on the Sandstone Memorial. Gleb Snardfitz, Bibbs <laughs> Trench, Zeke Fitzberry, Elmo Smith, Brian Spike Berkowitz, Clybert Quackentotter. Wow. He demands again that you say your name. Let's let's say one of these names. I'm not really sure there's a point in any I'm gonna specific say Bibbs one. Trench because I like that name. Yes. <laughs> Bibbs Trench is the best name ever. There are some good names though. There's something about detecting insincerity that transcends even the vast gulf between humanity and bug bladder bestiality. The beast bellow is obviously convinced that you are lying and that it that and that that isn't your name <laughs> nor anything remotely like it I've like I could read the second that even though they couldn't be bothered to write it correctly the beast is yeah. nearly upon you so it's not going to accept <laughs> your lies filthy lies I was kind of thinking you might think it had already killed us and leave us alone yeah how about the Brian one? Because that's very earthy. Brian Spike Berkowitz? But I don't know how to say Brian quote Spike quote Berkowitz. Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> and besides, Bibbs Trench is a very earth name. <laughs> sure it is. I, <laughs> I have a friend. The, the Trench family are my friends. And Bibbs, like, I know Bibbs the third. I guess I don't really oh, know that's dad Marvel's Bibbs name, Jr. Then. Okay. <laughs> ah, so I should say uh, yeah. Bibbs Trench the third. So that it is a uh, distinct name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually. the opposite of your suggestion. <laughs> Oh. So our name is Arthur. I'm just gonna, you know. Yeah, let's just say Arthur. Okay. We might I have taken. The full name of the character in the book. I don't know. We might have uh, taken too much time and be eaten anyway. The beast roars your name with relish and mustard oh. and ketchup and explains that <laughs> once it has eaten you, your name will be added to its list of remembrance. Um, that's a problem. I don't want to be eaten. Yep. Not right now, at least. So I'm going to say, um, you were 100% on the right path. You were completely on the right path. Oh. Is it just one of those names? No, no, no. There's no you can, so he will always know if you lie. You cannot say a name other than your name. Hmm. So, are we meant to get eaten, then come back and say our name again? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Okay. Maybe that would work. Uh, but judging I by the guide, doubt it. Uh, <laughs> we didn't try going the other direction. I okay. I mean, if you really want to die, I guess we can do that. I just want to see what's in the other place in case there's a hint or something. Bellowing with rage, the beast charges after you. He's a very slow beast, it seems. Well, he's, he's a big beast. The beast blocks the exit to the southwest. Oh. So I guess we just can't go that way. Nope. So I was on the right lines with 
What was it exactly? You're on the right lines with, uh, you could confuse it if your name, like, if, if you get, if, if the, if your name, blah, 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 <laughs> the name, name list memorial you on, please put these words together yourself into a sentence that makes sense. Oh, God damn it, I've just got it. We're gonna die, though, so we might want to reload. Nah, I think we can actually still survive this. We're not going to, yeah. but I think we can. So what would you like okay, me to do? Go back to the memorial room. We're in the memorial room. It's the outer layer. Uh, oh, right, we are as well. Well, let's write our name into the memorial with the rock. Uh, well, in order to use the rock, we're going to have to get it. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to die. That's when we say. die. <laughs> yeah, because we're going to have to take it, then use it. Oh, we haven't died yet. Oh. Uh, let's try putting our name on the memorial. But it's not going to be in his handwriting. Well, oh, like he understands handwriting. Before you even chip the first letter, the beast sees you and hurls you spinning away with a bellow of rage. No. You're getting close, though. So is that just saying we've got to do it quicker? No. You're getting close. Uh, you can definitely oh, still do I it see. from here. Yeah, so let's try to get out of this room. He'll block the exit, then nope. we'll do it again. Nope. And, oh. He always follows you anywhere you go. Well, that's the idea, that if we try to leave, he'll be on the other side. Uh, well, well, no. <laughs> just no. So, do we just try to do it again? Nope. You've already done everything you need to do. You're just not putting it together. <sighs> do we say our name again? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm yeah. very confused right now, then. <laughs> what other things have you done in commune with the monster. Oh, the, 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 the towel. When you put the towel over your head, as the guide tells you... It gets lost and confused for a while. He can't see you. And that should be at least long enough <sighs> to carve Arthur on yep. the memorial. Yes, it should. I should have remembered that. You chip away with the stone. It's not your best writing, what with the mounting sense of panic and a towel wrapped around your head. However, it suffices. Just as the beast is trying to work out where you've disappeared to, it suddenly sees your name, freshly carved on its memorial of remembrance. Mystery solved. It realizes it must have already eaten you in a fit of an absent-mindedness. Its mind is very, very small and quite frequently absent. <laughs> it decides to give up the rest of its afternoon to the twin arts of digestion, digestion and contemplation. It settles down for a sneeze. Use. Eat the bug that a beast of troll. <laughs> well, I can foresee no problem with doing that. <laughs> it's doing a snooze. It's possible. Oh, say, I why saved would you save that? <laughs> Shockingly, no. it doesn't let you eat the entire gigantic beast that's big enough to eat you. Well, fair enough. Okay, now I guess we want to go out to the southwest exit. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to remove the towel first so we can actually move without yeah, getting yes, confused. Yes. <laughs> how could we carve... Oh, yeah, how could we carve it into the towel in our heads? That must be very messy. I mean, maybe we just, you know, have the towel between us and him, but in sort of a little bit of an eye <laughs> hole that... Uh, <laughs> This is the heart of the beast lair. The only exit leads northeast. The skeleton of a dead beast hunter lies nearby, what? clutching zumpy, something labeled a Nutramat what? computer interface. Is that us? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> well, let's look at the beast hunter. I cannot type. I... <laughs> <laughs> Given that my only job here is to type and read, it's really too bad that those are two things I can't do. You see nothing special about the skeleton. Wow. Great, thanks. Well, we can't take the skeleton. We'll get ghosts. <laughs> I really want to know if we will. I really do it. want to know if we will. Do it. <laughs> I need it. I need this if to happen. We need to know if it. it I. I am a hundred percent with it. If it gives us uh, ghosts, 
What a concept. Aww. No, we can't take the skeleton. Okay, well, I guess we want to look at what they're holding. The interface! The Nutramat slash computer interface! Indeed. The Nutribat computer interface is square, about 10 inches on each side. All of those words are critical. It bears a small label which reads, <laughs> Another fine product of the Sirius Cybernetics Corporation. How about we take it and not eat it this time? <laughs> what we do you mean this it. time? <laughs> Well, this is one everything. of the very few things in the game we haven't tried to eat. <laughs> hmm. Suddenly a team of Fronorbdian beast hunters charges in, intent on catching the beast for their zoo. Mistaking you for the beast, they fire the stun guns at you, wrap you in nets, and install you in a lovely little lair in the Fronorbdi National Zoo. Three months later, the heir is discovered, but while your damage suit is pending in the Fronorbdian courts, the planet is invaded by bureaucratic pirates from Paladon 4, impressed into... Impressed into bondage? Is that a oh, phrase? That's, it sounds not rock bad. <laughs> Impressed by bondage for a 16-year <laughs> filing and sorting mission on the so-called basement world of Sporla in the lesser Magenelic cloud, you escape with the help of a tribe of nomadic asteroid painters. You develop a unique talent for asteroid painting, gaining considerable fame throughout the cloud, and Nickel Ore Deluxe is commissioned by his royal gorpness Orbjfelk, the ruler of the nine hundred worlds of Gorp, but while working on this new masterpiece, your asteroid slips into a small spa passing black hole. Everything becomes dark. <laughs> well, okay. I guess we're gonna wait. That would seem like a thing to me. Hey. Can't see, smell, feel, taste. But you can So we hear. can hear. So we're back on the heart of gold. So we're back on the heart of gold. As it would seem. Okay. <laughs> Is this correct, first of all? Yes. So Okay, good. So this interface is going to have something to do with the tea machine or the computer? I would assume. The yeah, yeah, yeah. well, I'm uh, so yes, <laughs> yes is the answer to that question. Uh, okay. What I'm trying, like I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt to this video game, <laughs> and I'm not completely but it's sure why. <laughs> uh, the thing is, you just don't want another Zork. That's all. Exactly. The two things that really weren't acceptable are the putting the uh, the the thing, the th putting the thing in the thing, putting the dangly bit yeah. in the tea substitute. No clue that where it suggested that. Absurd. And the randomness of where you go. And I guess if it is just random, maybe you could just try over and over. But what would compel you to try over and over? I guess the fact that it repeats, or the fact that it is an improbability drive. Maybe I don't know. But I, yeah, the, the, the combination, the, the dangly bit in T plus <laughs> improbable, I just, I can't. That was trash. That's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what the hell do we do now then? Uh, I guess we go to the computer off, or the team machine. Uh, I'm just going to, we would, we would eventually figure this out, but I just wanted to clarify because we can. First off, of course, we have the thing again. Also, we have somewhere a number 12 asteroid paint chipper because we were just a <gasps> asteroid painter for like a year before any of that. Oh, happened. yeah. So it didn't it didn't tell you that it put that in your inventory, but it did. <laughs> so that, that, that's makes, that, that, that makes sense. That's, that, that, okay. that's that's fine. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm not. And, you know, we would definitely look in our inventory eventually. So that's not, you know, yeah, that's not totally unacceptable. So I, I'm going to put that in the thing. <laughs> Because, of course, I am. Okay, so we don't need that for a while. We don't need that for a while. Okay, so I guess we want to go to the Nutramat machine. Okay, so that was down from here and then port. 
It's too bad that there isn't a ship word for down and up. There's, yeah. I mean, there's below decks, and, and a, but that's not, yeah, that's not actually a direction. That's <laughs> not a relative thing. Yes, exactly. Well, um, have we looked at the interface in our inventory yet to get maybe yeah. more from it? Yeah, we looked mm. at it. It was a 10 by 10 board. <laughs> Hmm. Can we replace the circuit board with that? Get circuit board. Circuit board. Get. I circuit can't board. type. Put interface in. Uh, panel. Was that it? <laughs> I guess. Okay. Now let's press the touchy panel. Now let's touch the pad! I, I just gotta, I, I've always written touchpad because that happens to be the first verb you use, but press also works. Yeah. The new traumat is puzzled that you want something made by poiling, poiling? Pouring, <laughs> boiling water on dead leaves and squirting stuff from a cow in it and says that it will need some help from Eddie, the shipboard computer. The new traumat begins to whirr. Hey, it got it this time, kind of. So do we wait or do we go see Eddie? If it says we need help from Eddie, the shipboard computer. It can get help from Eddie itself, the lazy uh, you, well, thing. <laughs> wait, this was before the internet, so the very concept of these two <laughs> things being networked together, even though they're right next to each other, is not really, you know. That, that's... Before internet, post infinite probability drive. Okay, <laughs> let's go see Eddie. <laughs> How dare you mock its nonsense! <laughs> <laughs> Here's the corridor four end, and up is the bridge. The bridge. <clears throat> there is a nice hot cup of advanced tea substitute here. <laughs> Plotter connected to the drive. The long dangly bit submerged <laughs> in the advanced tea substitute. The improbability drive is. Oh, I see. It just gets left here, so it's not as bad as okay. I thought, as we thought, okay, as everyone good. thought. <laughs> yes. Uh, so what would we do here then? We, I mean, mm, we can't just talk to Eddie. No. This is just a bit of a verb hunt kind of situation. A little bit. I'm going to try this because I'm unsure. Again, I'm trying not to just like here's the exact thing you need to do. Uh, yeah. Look around you. Just ha. look around you. Thanks, ants. This is where you would see a fence. Oh, Marvin Stockton. <laughs> <laughs> Have we looked at the control console? Oh, no, we, we looked at Eddie. Oh, well, oh. that's a good thing. Oh, please oh, no. hold. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we, we hadn't looked at the uh, control console, and here you see a large receptacle. That, you know, that's critical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't going to be good. Well, there's a large receptacle. Unzip trousers. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're not wearing any trousers. All you're wearing is a dressing gown. <laughs> Unbutton underwear, then. <laughs> Who says you're wearing underwear? You're only wearing Fair a point. dressing gown. <laughs> and most of this game, you haven't been wearing the dressing gown. You've just been going point, around actually. completely nude. <laughs> We've taken the dressing gown off several times, in yes, fact. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, no, you don't have to fuck the receptacle <laughs> in the control panel. That somehow is not the solution. <laughs> well, I guess we maybe want to put the long dangly bit into there then. The dangly bit is the tea bag, but there was also the, the large plug. 
Oh, the large one, and this is a yeah, large yeah, receptacle. Yeah, that's exactly. Cool. There was a large plug and a small plug. The small receptacle was in the thing. <laughs> Let's put you the know, large the receptacle that... in the. In, no, the thing, the receptacle is the thing we put the thing in. Yeah. Anyway, let's. Yeah. No, but but the small receptacle was in the thing. It was in the right uh, uh, plotter, and the large receptacle is in the wall. Plug. Yeah. Announcement! Announcement! This is Eddie, the shipboard computer. Uh, Emergency situation: Nuclear missiles have just been launched at us from the approaching planet. Which is which? My data banks. The data banks indicate it's a legendary lost planet of Magrathia. We've seen that name before. I cannot perform evasive we maneuvers have. because all circuits are currently engaged by the Neutromat. <laughs> the missiles will turn the ship into a huge atomic fireball in approximately eight <laughs> turns. By the way, somebody wow. didn't finish their spinach at dinner. I, I, I guess we want to unplug it then, perhaps. I don't know why. I mean, it's. We could uh, wait eight could, turns. Yeah, we could. We could wait eight turns and and see what happens. Uh, and maybe after saving, <laughs> just, yeah, just, 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 you know, we, I suppose we could try saving first. Uh, let's. I, I want to see if if Eddie has continuously uh, more dire warnings. Oh, I hope so. Shouts of anger, cries of alarm, pounding feet. Yeah, this is fine. No, stream hasn't updated for me yet. There we go. Oh, more panic. Yeah, oh, it looks like nothing. Oh, they're coming then. I'm just gonna wait a lot. I'm just gonna wait a bunch. <laughs> Either we'll it's die on... or we won't. Okay, there we go. Second cries of alarm and pounding feet. What movie are you on now? Uh, I, that should have been seven out of the eight. <laughs> so let's, let's do one more. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. It seems that the missile struck the heart of gold about three nanoseconds ago. Sure enough, here comes that <laughs> huge atomic fireball. You have died. <laughs> well, I mean, it's brief and to the point, I guess. Waiting, waiting eight turns. I mean, it was an option. We could wait eight turns. It was. I'm not going to say it was the best idea. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say we just don't do that. Yeah, that's okay. That's a bad idea. So, just because plugging it in happened at the same time as missiles doesn't mean that plugging it in caused missiles. I'm just gonna say that. Oh, it's engaged by the Neutromat. We've got to go cancel the Neutromat thing. You can't the cancel the Neutromat. You can never cancel T. <laughs> oh no! I mean, that's true. That's true. <laughs> It, not not because you can't, not because you can't make it stop, but because it would be immoral. Exactly. Yeah. P precisely. So can we just go pull the thing out of the Neutromat and break it? No, that would stop the Neutromat. What are you talking about? <laughs> but the circuits are engaged by the Neutromat, so you we can't must evade the missile. It is, it is immoral to stop it from making tea. How dare you even consider oh, stopping it okay. from making tea? Let's press the button on the generator then. You can do, you know, press button on generator, but I've always done turn on generator because I just enjoy yeah. that more. Why isn't it doing anything? Oh, there it go. Wow, that was incredibly delayed. Yeah, I'm still not. I'm going to restart the VLC as a whole. Just to... As you flip the switch, sparks fly from the large receptacle. My new console, wails Eddie, the shipboard computer. This is the thanks I get. The universe goes crazy for a moment. Announcement, announcement. This is Eddie, the shipboard computer. The missiles have turned into a sperm whale at an improbability <laughs> factor of 2 to the 39,745th power to 1 against. The whale is currently plummeting towards the legendary lost planet of Magrathia. I hope this will teach you to listen to me when I say the legendary lost planet can be dangerous. I am proceeding with the preset landing instructions. Ford, Zaphod, and Trillion saunter by on their way back to the sauna. Uh, good work, kid, says Zaphod, <laughs> slamming you on the back. It took me a second to remember what voice I'd given him. <laughs> okay, so we, um... Uh, we have we have saved the day. We have uh, we, we have we're yes. fine. Remember, the improbability engine just causes hugely improbable things to happen. So it's not it that does. it makes you teleport. That's just one improbable thing that can occur. It is. Of course, in this case, I'm pretty sure that might be hard coded. But you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna check something. 
Oh, okay. I, I'm just curious because I we did intrigued. we engaged the dangly bit. Well, that doesn't. <laughs> that's not what I needed to. <laughs> <laughs> What I'd like to know is, like, if we had looked at the dangly bit, would it say, this looks like a tea bag? Oh! Because then, like, maybe the then problem... Then that would be a good hint. Exactly. The, then I would, like, that would save the game in many ways. <laughs> well, thus far, at least. That, well, yeah, yeah. So, so, like, I'm always fine if the problem is just we didn't look around carefully. And, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, we did look at it before. I remember that description. You remember you see nothing special about? I remember that description uh, too. <laughs> yeah. We've but, seen I mean, that a lot. <laughs> well, uh, okay. The game is not redeemed. The game is not redeemed. Redeemed, no. Anyway, so uh, that, that, that happened. We managed to save ourselves. Yep. In spite That's of the uh, everything being taken by the Nutramat. Yeah, so I guess now we can wait. That didn't seem right. I mean, we should we should wait for the Nutramat, but there's no reason to wait for the Nutramat here. Yeah, let's go to get the tea. <laughs> yeah, we there we the go. <laughs> <laughs> it looks <gasps> like the slot contains tea. Actual tea. <laughs> that's that's an appropriate reaction to tea. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, that's excellent. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> we finally dropped our no tea. We have finally dropped the concept of the absence of tea. <laughs> Now I'm curious, if I check the inventory, will we have tea or just nothing? Because yeah. the no tea, tea. cancelled the... Uh, we have tea. I can't even find it. It's the first thing. Oh, it's the very first thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we yeah. have tea now. Drink the tea. I'm... This sh had better rocket the score up. <laughs> if you say so. It's tea. Whoa! It is the finest tea you have ever tasted. It has almost made this entire misadventure seem worthwhile. You experience several moments of complete happiness and relaxation. The cup itself vaporizes part of the galactic anti-litter program. Look at that score. That is that is quite the score. That rocketed your score by a suspicious <laughs> amount. <laughs> if only it said picked up no tea again, or got no tea again. I, I need to check whether our inventory yeah. has no tea again. <laughs> Please say it has no tea. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Does it? Yay! Uh. Um. <laughs> oh. Zaphod uh, just got a huge ice cold pan galactic gargle blaster. Love them. And he's taking it to the sauna. So that that's fun. Um uh, I'm I'm gonna touch the pad again because we're not supposed to not have tea according to the guys. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. That so oh, I suspect yeah, I that this very high score is like a, a a sort of cruel dead end. Oh, it won't it won't do it. <laughs> yeah, I I suspect that it you know it gives you that score just to sort of mock you. I yeah. I, I expected it to drop your score. I'm not that angry with it for uh uh doing that, but uh oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, anyway, what did we do with the T substitute? I think it's just not going to give us proper tea again, though. Sure, I'm just asking, what when we had the tea substitute, what did we do with the tea substitute? Oh, we, we, put, oh, we put the thing in the property, then. So let's go... 
and remove the dangly bit from the T substance. God, this is a long line to type. <laughs> so hopefully this should be a much better result. Being proper T. We have put the dangly bit in the tea. <sighs> I'm not even there yet. Well, Yay. you'll get there, there eventually. <laughs> then we will turn on the generator. The generator. Like fog rolling in off the ocean, a shroud of blackness billows toward you. Unlike fog rolling off in the ocean, the blackness hits you like a 16-ton truck. <laughs> oh. Guess what? <laughs> <sighs> Is this what we're meant to do? Oh, okay. I just, I just did a dumb, but that's fine. We, it's not that dumb of a dumb. Wow. Uh. Ah, yep. There we go. Do you, do you observe anything about this? Yeah, we're we're back in the heart of gold again. But observe the rest. <laughs> observe what's going on. We can't see, smell, feel, or taste where you are, who you are, how you got there. And by the, the, the rest, previous ones. I, yes. <laughs> oh, the first one was four. All of them. That's are different. Four. Oh dear. But all of them That's... have different senses that you have. They do. You were... I, I've just, I, I don't see any sort of great way of uh, uh, clarifying this further, but every... Uh, uh, Everyone has got a different sense exactly. of Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I did see that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So let's try to get feel again. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to restore just because I just yeah. waited in a pointless way. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know why particularly feel is what you want to get, but okay. <laughs> right, it's one of the ones we haven't done yet, so... Why not? You can hear, smell, taste, see... Hey, there we go! So was it the same one, the second one? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the first one. Uh, oh, yeah, so yeah, what yeah. Would yeah. We first one, yeah. Do to feel. Well, yes, just type what are you talking feel. About? Yeah. <laughs> you feel. <laughs> you, uh, it does feel a bit cold and wet and squishy. Uh, there seems to be some liquid at your fingertips. That's not good. That's very not good. Hmm. I mean, anytime I see any liquid, I drink it. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I see. Sensible. <laughs> it tastes just like wine. In fact, you realize with growing what? embarrassment that your hand is sitting in a glass of white wine. You're at a party being given a, uh, by a distant and incredibly boring acquaintance. <laughs> uh, there's no such thing as a distant acquaintance. There can be a distant relative. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> what is a distant acquaintance? Like, this is the acquaintance of an acquaintance. <laughs> Somebody I yeah. kind of know kind of knows this person, which means my relationship <laughs> to this person is none. <laughs> I have no knowledge of this person. We've never met before. I'm at their party, though. <laughs> among Naturally. The people, among the people you've been introduced to are a shy, mousy fellow from the West Country named Arthur. Well, uh, which is to say named Arthur and a flamboyant guy named Phil. You've had too many drinks already and the room is beginning to buzz. Living room. You're in a large living room. There's a party going on. Other rooms lie to the west and southwest and the apartment's front door is south of here. Phil is here. Arthur Dent is here. I'm oh, sorry. Arthur but Dent that's... is here. And you notice the hostess approaching. But using several mingling couples as cover, you maneuver away. But that's us. That's us. Isn't it weird that that's us? <laughs> Little bit. Eat all the tent. 
I mean, I agree, but at the same time, I don't anticipate anything succeeding here. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, technically, I think it's only told us that our name is Arthur. I don't think it's uh, told us. Yeah. It, ha it hasn't told us dead, I don't believe. Yeah. Again, I, so this is obvious. Like, what do you do anytime you're in a room and there are things? <laughs> Let's look at things. Well, I'm not going to say look at things. What should I look at? <laughs> Let's look at Phil, first of all. The Let's go down the list. Let's <laughs> <laughs> He is very attractive, if a little weird, and has a slight otherworldly look. You suspect he's a party crasher, an impression reinforced by his inappropriate garb. He seems clothed for a, clothed for a fancy dress party or something, because he has what appears to be a large birdcage on his shoulder. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the bird is, you know, fancy dress. The bird inside must be asleep because you can hear snoring coming. Typical. Pretty sure birds don't snore, but yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, let's look at Arthur Dent. That's Mr. Dent to you. Yeah, Arthur be, yes. seems nice and well-meaning, but also terribly shy. He has tried to start a conversation with you several times, but still hasn't gotten past hello. He has an enormous, unsightly ball of fluff on his jacket. <laughs> We've been, uh, wonder where that ball of fluff is now, then. <laughs> it's on his jacket. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, in, in, a, in, a, in a dressing gown. Right, our our own ball of fluff. Yes, our yeah, pet yeah, yeah. ball of fluff that we already had. It should just be in our inventory, I think, in the thing. Unless well, I'm to be do I right now. Oh, hello. Because this is nuts. We have a plate of whores dovers. Uh, <laughs> whores dovers. <laughs> a glass of white wine and a handbag. I think we might be Trillion. We might be Trillion. And by might, I mean ah. Oh. We we are Trillion. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess let's walk away from Arthur because he's weird. I can't. Uh, this one isn't even cryptic. <laughs> well, let's look at the bird cage then. Look at bird cage. Cage is, of course, the correct pronunciation. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not important. Leave it alone. No. Oh. <laughs> I'll just wait for the it's angry video you. to update. I, you just you use me. I I will read to you. <laughs> don't don't worry about the video. You don't even need it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We. Mm. All the worldly luck. I mean, we could try asking him about the birdcage, but then again, how do we say that? I don't, really that <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have to ask people about things very much. <laughs> I think if if ever we've never done that, so if anything think if you think anything involves that, it you're wrong. <laughs> um. Oh. So we seem to have looked at everything and have we, have we haven't looked at Arthur, have we? No, we did. Yeah, we did. Did we look at Arthur? Okay. He has an enormous yeah, unsightly did. ball of fluff on his jacket. Let's get the ball of fluff. As is the case so often at parties, you find that you are holding too much and can't pick up anything else. I mean, you already have a plate of whores dovers and a glass of white <laughs> wine. <laughs> That's true. Can we maybe just put down the wine and then get the fluff? Put down wine. Get fluff. <laughs> he 
you remove the jacket fluff, improving Arthur's appearance greatly, he is clearly touched and starts happily to chat away with you. You discover that he is only slightly more interesting to talk to than averagely interesting <laughs> than an averagely interesting wall. Wow. Now, what should we do with the fluff? Eat fluff. <laughs> I mean, yes, of course we should try to eat the fluff, but at the same time, no, we shouldn't try to eat the fluff. I mean, can we put it in his pocket or something? That'd be weird. The hostess, whom you've been avoiding all evening, scurries up with your glass of white wine. Oh, hello, Trisha! How lovely to see you! I think you've dropped this, dear! Arthur tries unsuccessfully to interest you by talking about the deteriorating condition of the motorways. <laughs> Interesting. Can we just drink the wine, I guess? I don't know if we've actually been given it back yet. I, we might be drinking it out of her mm, hand yeah. right now. Trisha, dear, says the hostess instantly, instantly, insistently. Don't you want your glass of white wine? Uh, what? Whoa. What? <laughs> we did take a sip, but from her oh. hand. <laughs> and did she's, we actually do that? That appears to be precisely what just happened. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am delighted That's with that. Excellent. But we do, there is something we need to do with the fluff. The things we have in our inventory are a plate of Horsdovers and a uh, handbag. I would just put the fluff in the handbag. There right? we go, because we've seen the handbag. We know where the handbag yeah. is. I'm not sure how that's going to help us. But, I, you but... know, as long as we have now become this person... It reveals a pair Indeed, of tweezers, somehow. which we're going to leave there. Arthur tries to interest you by talking about a recent trip to Triverton, or whatever that was. <laughs> to <laughs> Triverton. Sounds interesting. Uh, I'm going to try this. The guide doesn't tell me to do this, but this is the kind okay. of thing that sometimes people do at parties. 